if you're making your black soap you had ozone soap had this powder that oil this and that and you don't have things that will help prevent against skin issues in case they arise or even if none arises the ones that are already on the skin to help eradicate them okay those are preventive measures you should always add it to your black soap to prevent against rashes so i've had so many cases of people saying um they made black soap is giving them rashes is giving them eczema is doing this and that is because you are really really not following the guideline you are following all these plenty plenty youtubers that they will add other things behind the camera and they will not tell you once you know the big basic rule regarding black soap formulation okay even when you watch a particular video on youtube you will still know how to balance the loopholes okay that's just it So now let's go to the reasons why black soaps don't work. If this video is too long or too lengthy, I will probably cut it into two as always. But if you're still here with me till this point, that means you're really, really um, enjoying what I've been saying. So please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Okay. So now let's go to the reasons why your black soap don't work. We have numerous reasons why your black soap don't work. Honestly, reasons as lame as the choice of your soap is okay you can actually make your black soap not work to the extent you want it now the first thing is when you want to make your black soap you need to have a vision like what do you want this black soap to do okay that's the basis for formulating any product in the first place what do you want this product to do okay you want it to glow you want it to lighten you want it to brighten you know you want it to be extremely white you need to have a vision you know for your black soap okay so now the kind of soap you want to make now determines the 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 kind of things you had to heat like i said earlier okay so take for example you want to make a lightning black soap you want to make a lightning black soap yes you can shred other soaps with your um, black soap i've actually talked about numerous kind of soaps you can shred with your black soap but I think I will still make a video separately talking about that, okay? I, I'm still thinking about it, okay? If you want that video, you can probably comment in the comment section. Half the time, one of the reasons why your black soap is not working is because you're not selecting the perfect soap base for your black soap. The fact that, that they call it black soap does not mean you cannot add other soaps to your black soap. Honestly, that's what almost everybody do. Don't be deceived. Almost everybody add ozone soap to their black soap. Almost everybody has um antiseptic anti uh, medicated soap to their black soap to prevent against issues almost everybody had you know even lightning bar soap whitening bar soap they had it to their black soap just to boost the effect okay so if you're making a lightning or whitening black soap even a glow soap you want to consider adding other soaps to your black soap to form a base okay that's probably one of the reasons why your black soap is not working the second Another reason why your black soap is not working is because you are not using the right powders in your black soap. I probably will make another video regarding powders that you can add to your black soap. But most people had wrong things. The things I see on YouTube, man. Most people had powders that cannot even work with um, soap's pH. They had to their black soap, which is extremely wrong. Take, for example, somebody adding niacinamide to your black soap. Why? Why are you adding niacinamide to black soap? Please, why? Let me understand. The pH that niacinamide works at is pH 6. And black soap, no matter how you check and balance it, reach, you can only check and balance it to pH 7. So why? That means your niacinamide is rendered useless. And some people will pack this lightning powder, that lightning powder, this and that, into their black soap. And then they will end up saying, but i had this powder now and it did not light it will not light it because all the white white chalks that you are adding into your black soap they are not meant they are not compatible with your black soap's ph so i think you need to check that example of good powders that you can use with your black soap that are compatible with black soap ph is your kojic dip permutate kojic dip is very good for black soap your snow white to your snow white powder can also be used for your black soap you know another powder that people have to their black soap that is completely wrong is alpha abutin powder alpha abutin powder actually works at a ph of 3.5 to about 6.5 yeah 
so it has nothing to do with black soap black soap is on the alkaline side of the ph um meter okay so it has nothing to do with acidic side it has nothing to do with ph 6 ph 5 so any powder that you're adding to your black soap should be powders that work at you know ph 7 ph 8 like that like that like that powders or powders that are broad spectrum that they have you know large ph range i hope you understand what i'm saying another powder that you should not add to your black soap is your giga white powder your giga white powder actually works at the ph of um three to six point five okay so you don't want to add giga white if you add giga white to your black soap is like waste of precious giga white okay to your black soap please don't add powder so these are the reasons why people will say they made black soap they had this day the one that even bought my brain most is the niacinamide you had niacinamide to black soap and you expect the black soap to work effectively you are just wasting the powders okay it will not function because it will be rendered useless in that formulation i hope you understand me so another reason why your black soap might probably not work as effective as you want it to be is not checking and balancing the ph level of your black soap it might actually cause a situation whereby you start causing so much reaction for your um uh, your client's skin probably um giving you redness you know burns rashes and lots more another reason is when you don't have preventive measure when you don't have preventive measures to your black soap okay so it's just like the positive and negative sign yeah when you had lots and lots of negative you should had lots and lots of positive okay so if you're making your black soap you had ozone soap had this powder that oil this and that and you don't have things that will help prevent against skin issues in case they arise or even if none arises the ones that are already on the skin to help eradicate them okay those are preventive measure you should always add it to your black soap to prevent against rashes so i've had so many cases of people saying um they made black soap is giving them rashes is giving them eczema is doing this and that is because you are really really not following the guideline you are following all these plenty plenty youtubers that they will add other things behind the camera and they will not tell you once you know the biggest basic rule regarding black soap formulation okay even when you watch a particular video on youtube you will still know how to balance the loopholes okay that's just it at this stage i am now i cannot watch a youtube video of you know black soap making and not know what to add or what to subtract from it so not all in my opinion not all videos on youtube are bad okay because if you really really know what you're doing you can still get what you want to get out of that video and you will you will feel good about yourself i feel you will still be thankful that you actually came across the person's video okay so these are the various things that i think we should, we should um ensure we take note and you know inculcate when we are formulating our black soap if you're the type that you don't really know much about black soap or how to handle skincare in general i would just advise you become sober go for trainings you know even we that we already know certain stuff about these things we still enroll for trainings every day because we don't want to relent we want to know more how much more you that you don't really know much okay so i challenge you today to enroll for a training i'm not saying you should come and train with me because i'm already seeing you you are saying ah fast you are bribing me i'm not bribing you man <laughs> if you want to train with us we have a training but honestly speaking yeah let's be serious i just want you to you know i challenge you today to go and um you know train with somebody okay somebody you trust train as we got skincare because skincare is just like drug that we take into our system just the way doctors pharmacists you know people that make drugs can't afford to be careless about um drug production formulation it's just the same way we skin tech formulators you know whatever thing you are shouldn't be careless as we got people's skin too because some people have been through a lot as regards skincare um, product usage. You know, skin issues, all those things in general. So please, please, I challenge you that you're watching this video that you do not really know much about skincare to enroll for a training. Okay, I'm not saying mine, enroll for any training. So if you would like to purchase any of our products, guys, like I always say in most of my videos, please reach out to us on WhatsApp only okay we wouldn't pick calls because 
if you try and call us i probably won't be the one to pick that's just it okay i actually said something earlier about people you know constantly calling at any point i understand that people are watching this all over you know the world is not only nigeria that you're viewing this but please please reach out reach out to us on whatsapp we would always reply your message once we get it okay whatever product you want to purchase black syrup serums face cream whatever thing you want we are at your service okay if copying the number on the screen would be too stressful for you please just click on the link in the um, description bar we have link to take you to our whatsapp um a message link to take you to our catalog link to take you to our instagram page you know so many links in the description bar so please for those who keep on asking in the comments section that i need your number the number is right on the screen man okay the number is on the screen or you just click on the description box and you know let's let's talk let's wrap okay i actually know this was helpful for you so why are you leaving this video without subscribing tell me why subscribe to this channel turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified the moment i upload another video i'll see you guys later bye for now